Okay, so today's tutorial, thanks to many requests, is modeling a lamp using splines. So I'm gonna go to the splines and use a circle, a circle using splines. I go to top view and make two circles. One, two, and I hold, I held shift key there just in case you didn't know. Um, uh, now I'm gonna make a smaller circle. That looks right. Now I'm gonna make another circle. And yet another circle. Okay, and I have those circles. Um, now I am going... Um, now I'm going to make no. Um, now what I do? Oh crap! Uh, then I'm gonna make another circle, slightly smaller circle than this one, like that. Yeah, that looks great. And then I'm gonna make another circle, uh, this big, that big circle there. And I'm gonna make another circle like that. Yep. Um, yeah. I mean, I've been using 3ds Max for like six years. Uh, got a degree in it. So anyone questions how I'm making this, you can you can just go to hell. Yeah, because I'm tired of the criticism on YouTube that I've been getting recently. I mean, I'd like to see you make a better tutorial on how to make a lamp. <laughs> Rubbish. Anyway. Um, now I need to convert the circle to a spline. So I'm gonna go over to this bit and attach the rest of these circles. Like that, and that, and that one, and that, and that one, and that one, and that one, and that one. Okay, now I need to get to vertices, stupid vertices, and I will go to refine. Just, just to let you know, you know, I don't want any negative comments. You know, I know already know how good I am. I don't think any of you haters will not bring me down. And oh crap, I've done that wrong. I'm sorry, I'm, you know. Anyway, uh, yep. Yeah. And there, we're just connecting all these vertices up, and then coming back up the opposite side, like that, like that, like, like that, like that. Oh, oh, I seem to have gone a bit wrong there. That, that's unusual. I don't usually go wrong on these kind of things. Um, yeah, so I'll just I'll just start that again. It's fine. That is fine. Maybe I'll use linear. No, I won't use linear. Okay, now I'm just going to go down, making sure I hit every vertice down this side. There, 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 there. Oh, there, there. Maybe I missed that other one. There, 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 and there. Perfect. Oh, perfect. Yep, that's just as I thought. No, I'm just gonna do the same again. Just going down here. You know, you can already see it looks like a brilliant lamp. I'm aware of that. I uh, don't want to forget this one here. Um, oh, and there, and there. I mean, it looks very realistic just like this. I may just keep it like this. I mean, if I wasn't doing the tutorial, I'd just finish here with my work and ah oh, that that's brilliant that's really good just how I wanted to look so I'm gonna connect these two up and these two up there you go and it looks oh nearly there now um so now I'm gonna go to surface modifier surface modif there it is oh yeah and that's brilliant that there you go, there is a lamp. Um, any questions, just leave them in the comments page. I'd happily answer. Um, that's, that's By the way, that's how I want it, it to look. I like having a gap here to let the light out. It's a, it's a different kind of lamp that I designed. Um, yeah, so leave any comments. I'll be making another video in a couple of days. Thanks.